Hey everybody, it's Campfire Trish and I'm coming at you for my kitchen. So today I'm going to do a fairly simple healthy recipe. So for those who have made any New Year's resolutions, this will fit right on target. Um, and I'm doing it from the comfort of my oven today. It's going to be easy. Uh, you can easily do this within a Dutch oven, um, crock pot, uh, probably I think even two. Um, and it's super simple, super easy, um, and uh, yeah, and it's actually a meal prep, so you can always prep it ahead of time and take it camping with you uh, to finish up. So let's get to it. Here we go. So today's recipe has to do with uh, spaghetti squash. So spaghetti squash is an alternative to noodles or pasta, so if you're uh, trying to watch your carbs, this is a great option. But I've cut the spaghetti squash in half, and I've scooped out... Um, the um, seeds it's kind of like a pumpkin when you cut open a pumpkin it's got the same consistency um, but I scooped up the seeds and I have um, used some olive oil to oil it and um, I have salted it and uh, if you like pepper you could put pepper on it we like pepper but my oldest one does not so I'm not gonna pepper and um, I preheated my oven to 400 and I'm going to be then uh, just popping these into the oven for about 30 minutes um, so they can get soft. So that's my next step. All right, so these have been cooking for about 30 minutes and I'm just checking them to see how done they are. Um, well, this one's actually looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna um, kind of scrape up and make these noodles see how the noodle consistency see that um, I'm gonna do this on both of them and um, kind of get it broken up a smidgen and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients and it's gonna go back into the oven so it's not a hundred percent cooked yet but it will be by the time it's totally finished so I'm gonna do this and then um, I'll talk about the next steps all right so you can see here that I have um, Kind of loosened up my spaghetti squash and um this is done for some like some people can eat it just like this and it's actually really tasty especially with the olive oil and the salt um but um i'm gonna do this is gonna be a chicken parm type so i've taken some already cooked chicken and i've shredded it up a little bit not ton just a little bit i'm just gonna add it here this is a quick week week night supper for sure because you can always prep this and cook the um the chick the squash ahead of time and the chicken ahead of time and then all you have to do is assemble um some people will take the squash right out of the um shell and um if they if you want and bake it like a casserole that's cool i'm just adding some um some tomato sauce to the top mixing around a little bit however much you want and then I'm just gonna top it with um, some Parmesan and mozzarella cheese and then we're gonna bake it again until it gets all hot and melty and yummy um, and super simple like I said quick easy healthy uh, week weekday dinner Especially if you're busy, like lots of us are, especially with families and whatnot. Got to get something on the table that is relatively healthy, right? You try to at least. And um, sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Each to each his own, right? Some days, some days uh, my meals are healthier than others. Sometimes they're not. Uh, just depends on the day. How life's treating you, right? And then... Um, what's going on how many activities you're running to right now for the mozzarella if you wanted to like lightly bread you could have totally breaded up that chicken and made it more like a classic parmesan this is just a little bit more healthy crazy i know you're trying to do mozzarella one-handed is not going over well <laughs> but it'll get there but yeah 
here it is. Like I said, we'll just add it to the oven. We're gonna let it bake and let these cheeses melt and the sauce and the chicken get warmed up. And then we're gonna have a delicious weeknight meal. All right, so here it is. I did take it um, and broil it for just about two minutes or so, just to get some of that cheese um, um, browned. I had put it, once I have put it, uh, the cheese on it, I put it back in the oven for about 10 minutes, like I said, and then broiled it for about two. But uh, this looks delicious. Let's get to tasting. All right, so check out this bite right here. Yum, Ooh, right here. <laughs> got the sauce, I got the chicken, I got some cheese. It's piping hot. Mmm. That is good. If I had some parsley, I like to put that right on top. That's excellent. Really tasty, y'all. If you're looking for a spaghetti noodle alternative, spaghetti squash is awesome. I've used it throughout the years. I forget about it. And then I buy one, I'm like, ah, it's so good. Perfect. So, like I said, great alternative to noodles. If you're trying to introduce more um, vegetables into your life, it's a great alternative. And uh, yeah, otherwise, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, quick, easy, make ahead meal if you want to. You can throw it all together and bake it in the oven if you wanted to, too, like I said. But give it a whirl. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, until next Saturday at 8 a.m., don't forget to give me some likes, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, tell me what kind of videos, what kind of recipes you want to see. Hey, drop in the comments below too if there's any reviews uh, of any utensils, camping related utensils, cooking related utensils that um, I might be able to acquire and give a review on. I'd love to do that. So give me some comments below. And otherwise, I hope you have a great one. Till next time. Bye.